We uh, don't know, um, for example, um, how long it takes for the brain to recover from concussion. So we know that on average, uh, people will um, feel significantly better a week or 10 days um, after the event. Sometimes three or four weeks may go by and people will still have symptoms. Um, but uh, even when people report that they're feeling well, we're not sure that the brain is completely back to normal. Uh, and that's an important distinction because we do know, one of the things that we do know is that if you injure the brain um, within a very short um, time frame after having had a previous injury, um, the symptoms are likely to stay longer and you are at greater risk for some of the more serious um, sequelae or um, uh, effects of a, of a mild brain injury. So this idea that there's, a, there's an interval um, in which you should allow the brain a sufficient time to rest and to recover is an important one, but we don't know whether that's the same for each person. Uh, we don't know why um, that uh, should matter. Uh, so there's still a lot that we, um, we don't know and, and need, to, uh, need to find out. But we also know and have known for quite some time that um, there's a small group of people that take a really long time to recover and sometimes can have uh, symptoms which persist for years. But we're not sure um, uh, in advance who those people are. So we can't predict, for example, if you were to have a concussion, um, whether you would be one of those folks that uh, recover really quickly or whether you're going to be one of the unfortunate ones who has symptoms that linger for a long time. So we know some of the factors that um, seem to predict um, length of recovery, but we don't know all of them.